Now your Storm Track 7 forecast on KWWL. Good afternoon. Thank you for logging on. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. Today looking nice as the clouds will decrease. We'll get some sunshine this afternoon and temperatures have been very mild. That winter storm will track in for tomorrow. It will exit on Wednesday, but we're in the orange because some of our fringe counties under a winter storm watch could be a pretty potent system. Now let's track it out for you on future track again. The clouds decreasing for this afternoon. We'll see some sunshine as we start to head towards sunset, but as we make our way through tonight, the clouds will increase once again. We'll become mostly cloudy, but dry for the most part tonight. It won't be until afternoon tomorrow that the rain showers begin to push in. High temperatures will be in the 40s, so we're going to start off with some rain here heading into the early afternoon. Now, at times, we'll see a wintry mix, maybe some light snow to begin with off to the northwest. But for most of us, we'll see some rain showers, even in isolated thunderstorms, some moderate to heavy showers, as you see here with the yellows and oranges. Uh, but again, that New Hampton, Decorah area, uh, Butler County seeing more of that wintry mix or snow. There's going to be a very sharp division between the heavy rain showers and the heavy snow. We could even see some thunder snow at times, especially off to our northwest. Now, as we make our way through tonight, notice, or excuse me, Tuesday night, this is uh, midnight. We're going to be still seeing some rain showers for areas like Dubuque, El Cater Olwine, Waterloo, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City. Most of that snow is still out to the northwest. But we make our way through uh, very early on Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. That's when the snow finally starts to push off to the east. Waking up around 6 a.m. on Wednesday, still looking at rain showers for portions of our east and southern counties, whereas we'll see more snow to the north and west. Finally, that system will wrap up and push out of here by midday on Wednesday. Uh, but with the warmer temperatures and more rain expected than anything, here's what the totals are panning out to be. And this is what our best chances will be. With that very sharp cutoff, uh, it's going to be hard to really determine and nail down those totals. But our best chance for one to three inches or more uh, will be in parts of Winnesheek, Alamakee, Butler, and Chickasaw County. Uh, that's going to be just the northwestern sliver of the viewing area. Otherwise, most of us in the north and west will see a trace to one inch. That'll include Waterloo, Olwine, and El Cater. And then mo uh, most of the viewing area to the east and south will see mainly just rain showers perhaps some minor ice accumulations, but this is how sharp that cutoff is. Notice as you start to push into northwest Iowa, parts of southern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and a lot of Nebraska, they could see up to 12 inches of snow. Good thing we're missing out on that. That's where you'll find a winter storm watch or a winter storm warning. These shaded areas, that's where you're going to have trouble traveling the next couple of days. Notice our fringe counties right in that winter storm watch. So again, it's possible to see up to maybe three to five inches just outside of the viewing area. Uh, and then parts of Butler, Chickasaw, Winnesheek County, probably in that one to three inch range. Wouldn't be surprised to see a winter weather advisory issued there. And then also with the uh, rainfall, we're going to see maybe a half an inch to an inch uh, for those areas seeing less snow. And this is a water equivalent with that snow. So again, most of us to the northwest going to see a uh, wintry mix or snow overall. So for today, though, uh, enjoy it. Temperatures will be in the mid 40s to mid 50s. Uh, we'll see some afternoon sunshine and a west wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for tonight, looking at lows fairly mild, right around 30 degrees as will become mostly cloudy. So once again, city by city forecast uh, tracking mainly rain showers for Tuesday with a wintry mix or snow to the northwest. Tuesday night, we'll see that rain turning more of a two way wintry mix. And then by Wednesday morning, uh, we will see snow for Waterloo, more of a wintry mix for Dubuque, and then a, a chance for rain in Cedar Rapids. Iowa City should remain dry for most of Wednesday. It'll also get very windy, so our temperatures fall throughout the day on Wednesday from the mid 30s. Now, as we make our way to Thanksgiving, a chance for some light snow in the late afternoon and overnight hours, otherwise cloudy and cool, highs mid 30s. And another system arrives Friday into the weekend as we'll track a rain snow mix to begin with on Friday evening. Temperatures warm into Saturday. That's when we'll see more of a rain shower. And then for Sunday, temperatures cool back down as the winds pick up from the northwest. And we'll see uh, that system exiting with snow showers on Sunday.